Hi guys, it's Mike. Today I'm back with used on horse your stash number 18. And here's the card I made. It's an interactive card. It's quite long and I'm sorry. I thought maybe I should cut out the coloring, but that was the shortest amount of time actually, but I sped it up. So this is 300% of my normal speed. And I thought I needed three of these because I wanted to have a big pile of leaves where my hedgehog can go underneath. And this is a digi from crafting that's different or was because it's no longer in business. But any you have will do. There's a pile of leaves in the stems that I'm using. That's Gerda Steiner, cheerful hedgehogs. But that was really small and <laughs> kind of sad actually. Uh, it didn't, yeah. So I went for this big pile and I'm just really, you know, going all and then I cut them out with my skin and cut without the white border that I usually do because I was going to stick them together see that was the pile that came with it and uh, yeah no <laughs> I want my hedgehog to roll and then go bashing into it would be nice if it, the leaves were fly up in the air but there was um, five steps too far I think because this card uh, I will be really honest took me three days to film and make and figure out and in the end it worked fine once I got the super glue and I also um, mirrored it once we will see later and I'm just coloring them really simply I thought about doing spines and everything but I didn't think they look cute if they are all spiky but yeah um, super glue because I'm using a bead that's plastic and it didn't want to stick and I've tried all the kinds of glue I had in my craft room so um, today I went out to that Sunday sorry <laughs> to, to shop to get super glue because I thought if that doesn't stick then I'm throwing it out the window I saw this idea on the my favorite things and I wanted to do it differently first and uh, make this slide on an angle so he's rolling downhill into the pile of leaves but um, I will save that for next time because <laughs> this was you know for first I'll do the basics and then maybe angle it and see if I can do variations of it and yeah um, I'm sure if it was easier to do one going downhill with a normal slider and a penny you know because of the weight but of course I wanted to try this and uh, yeah once it works it's really fun <laughs> to get it to work that was the yeah <laughs> I think I, I, I grew 10 gray hairs and and my life got shortened by five <laughs> in five years that's how um, but yeah the one now I know how to make it, it I think uh, if I make another one quickly afterwards then um, it will be easier to remember and of course my hedgehog has a direction it has to go from right to left to make sense otherwise he's rolling backwards which could be fun but I don't think that's likely and mom and dad are the ones I'm coloring here maybe brothers I don't know <laughs> I didn't ask <laughs> it doesn't really matter and I pulled out some Copic and Spectrum Noir so then just looking at the color because I thought there was too dark so uh, this one also <laughs> but yeah uh, I'm not sure if they are at all uh, realistically colored but I don't care <laughs> at this point you know I love my cards and I love interactive cards but if it takes me three days to figure them out and make them work and film it and I had more than an hour of footage and I, I cut out I sped up I threw some of it away there's some bonus at the end because that's actually the start of the video where my cat came to say hi <laughs> cheered said <laughs> he wanted snuggles so um, you'll see that at the end I added it just for fun because it makes me laugh <laughs> this was really frustrating 
and I shouldn't tell you because it's really easy to make this you know if you want to try it you need uh, a stamp that can roll the slide on over from Lonfan or any other slider set that you have I use the meadow grass from Lonfan as well and joy cross slider stuff and also the my favorite things launch party dynamics for most of it except for the channel and at first I wanted to make the channel longer so you could roll more but the tab that you pull out has a special size <laughs> so if you make the, the channel too long it won't reach so that was a mistake number one so I started again and then I cut it the wrong way and then it was crooked and uh, yeah but. and on the card base I put on some darker grass just to differentiate it and you can see I want him to roll that way and he, he, I want him to go behind it if possible like he's going inside the leaves and this one is really sad <laughs> that I don't, sorry I'm sure there's a, a use for it but not for my card and this is just colored cardstock by the way and this is like the ironing beads this is the tab from the um the, the, the mft and i just said it didn't i and don't don't remember launch party dynamics and i stuck four or five on top and in the uh, four light green ones and then a darker ones uh, because i didn't really got very sturdy so I thought I'll just do a sturdy cardstock it might save me some depth and it did and then for the hole because I already stuck them all together I actually used my drill so my electric drill see there's my channel that's too long <laughs> it's no, no fit stupid I didn't think about it but um, to make sure the, the hole is in the middle I traced it on the back so I know where my foam tape needs to be and I also made the collar which I'm going to stick down I made sure it fit because of the four layers of cardstock on the pull tab and I think you need it otherwise you know when you push it back and forth you might just wrinkle the paper and I have said this before in other interactive cards maybe make it out of chipboard might even be easier but I don't know if you can die cut that actually don't do that so I'm um, two layers of foam and um, you can see here my channel I'm building it from left to right because that's the way I want my hedgehog to move and if you have a non-directional hedgehog or image it doesn't matter <laughs> but this one does and it's the wrong way because when you flip over this panel it's going from left to right and not from right to left so I got a bit of a brain fart there so, so I started again off screen this time because you know <laughs> you don't want to see me do all that again and again and again I'm sure and I'm still seeing if it fits it did bow a little bit I, I glued it and put it weight on for all night but it's still a little bit bendy there's a, like a, a curve in it a wobble so two layers for me f uh, was exactly the same thickness as my slider thingy pull tab whatever it's called um, but make sure there's enough room for everything to move and here I see I went out got super glue and you can see it seems to stick until you want to touch it and glue it and put wire on top of it and then it comes off because it's plastic so this seems to work better um, it's just uh, well super glue instant glue and I let it dry with a weight on top as I said on the packaging and I did it for the other one as well but I, I can't glue that just yet so here's my final grass version moving the right direction and you need to move it a little bit I didn't put the foam tape too close on the first one I did and I thought it didn't slide because it was catching on the foam so now I put the foam a little bit further away and there's a wobble 
but once you put the bead in it won't anymore so that was also a bit scary because you can see the drop the glue that came out <laughs> that was quite a lot so i'm trying to be really careful not to glue everything together because also that would have gone out the window and i would have just filmed something else <laughs> I'm waiting for something to come in, but it's, it's still on its way. So, for the mechanism, which is the most important bit, you stick uh, nylon thread onto one side. And like I did with the rain card, I pull it back on itself, if I can get it off. Um, because then you can't really pull it loose, unless you pull really, really hard. And then you have to figure out which way to go. Now I'm going counterclockwise, which is not the right way, but you'll see that later. <laughs> you can only see it once you put your hedgehog on. But yeah, this is uh, extra sticky tape. Usually it's red. This is a different brand, a Dutch brand, but it doesn't really matter as long as it stays in place. Um, you, I do three times because that's what the lady on the MFT channel did. And I make sure it's really tightly uh, pulled, so there's no slack. And now to see if it works, I'm going to put my hedgehog. And I tried to put the glue there, but that was too small. <laughs> he didn't want to go. Here's my hedgehog. And now when I pull it, You can see he will go the wrong way and that's because I did it counterwise so I'm pulling it off again if possible otherwise make sure there's a maybe you can make a little bit of slack so you can pull it I couldn't so this was a clown to clockwise so now I'm going clock this is clockwise on the clown to my dad the other way <laughs> I think this is counterclockwise, so first I went clockwise. That's really weird. Because, but anyway, just try it, and if it doesn't, you can undo it and just make it nice. It's really cute. And I was really happy at this point because it finally worked, and this was already f day three. And I knew I had to edit all this and upload it and <laughs> voice over. <laughs> yeah. I think next time I'll just do a shaker card. <laughs> but as I say, if you do it with a penny and just, you know, you can, there's these sliders with a little bend in it and a curve, then you could have made it much easier. I think that, but because I saw this and I thought, oh, that's new and funny and I want to try it. Um, you don't have to tilt the card, just pull the tab. So that, I thought I was well interesting to, to to learn how to make and i did and as i said i have more gray hair now <laughs> but yeah i think i will make a, a second one just so you know i i can imprint it in my brain and memory and then never make one again <laughs> i didn't stamp it because i didn't want to risk it to be honest i might put a die cut on top there is sentiments in the set, but I didn't like them to go with this. Like there's sending you showers of love and there's no rain. Have fun might be cool. You are one awesome friend. But yeah, um, I have to think about that a little bit. Which ones I want to go in there. And um, it's, it's more like girls want to have fun. Yeah, do you know that song? If you're old as me. You probably do. <laughs> anyway, I'm just filling in the time here. I'm putting three layers of foam tape on one side of this uh, mound of leaves. And I'd, uh, actually this mound of leaves is inspired by a video I saw on Facebook of a dog that <laughs> keeps jumping in. It's so cute, that makes me laugh. And uh, yeah, it, it is the uh, Crafters Companion Nina paper is 110 pounds um, i think it needs a little bit more support and i ended up taking it out again because my hedgehog didn't want to go inside so that was another one i think maybe i should just make him go on top but that's not cute I 
So I made this card more difficult than it needs to be, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't need to do something that's a little bit easier. But yeah, you know me. I just want to make it cute and funny and different. So that worked. I'm not sure why he goes upside down instead of um, um, upright again uh, in his starting position. But no, I, I don't care. <laughs> Here's mommy and daddy. They're staying at a safe distance. So there might be water splashing <laughs> instead of leaves. That would be fun too. See, he's not staying upright. But yeah, the most important is to get the direction of the fishing line the right way. And then make sure it's properly uh, pulled tight. So, here's the chill for Hedgehog. I, yeah, I'm not going to stamp there and ruin my whole project. But here it is in action once more. And then there's a cute little bonus of my well, one of my cats. So thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.